ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुन्मील ये नस्म श्रीगुरव नम वंदे हम श्रीगुरोपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवश्च श्रीप सागर जात सहगण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साध्वत सवधूत परिजन सहित श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधाकृष्ण पाद सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखान्वता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंह दीनबंध जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिकाकांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायिने कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौरतृषे नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावतार भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्तिक श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतगदाधर श्रीवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जन्मादितरतस्थे सुभिज्ञस्वरा तेन ब्रह्म हृदयादिकूर तेज वारी मृदा यथा विनिमय यर्गो मृषा धाम स्वन सदा निरस्तकुवक सत्यम परम धीम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर स्वस्ति अस्तु विश्व कल प्रसिदता ध्यान तो भूता शिव मिथो धिया मनश्च भद्रम भजता दधुक्षज आवेश्यता नौमतिरप्ययुकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवत कैंटो सिक्स चैप्टर नंबर टू बिगनिंग फ्रॉम वर्स नंबर वन So this is uh, after the Yamadutas, they described what is the definition of dharma and what is a dharma and why have they come to take a jamila to Yamaloka. Then Sukhdev Goswami he speaks the next verse. Sri Sukhavacha says, "Evam te bhagavaduta yam duta abhi bhashitam updhariya tha tan rajan pratyahurna ko vidha." In this way, when those servants of the Lord were spoken to. by yamadutas they heard it and then they spoke as follows o king they who were very knowledgeable about 
what is proper and what is improper. So, Sri Vishnu Chakrati comments. Dityaya nam mahatmyam mahatmya diyam duta parahataha ajamilashna nirvedo vakuntharo hamchate In the second chapter, it is described that after hearing the statements of Vishnu Duta, the Yamdutas were defeated. And then they left, and Vishnu Duta also left. And after that, Ajavila, who was listening to this whole dialogue, he became very dispassionate about the life. And after that, there is a description how he went to Vakuntha. So that is the subject matter of this chapter. Naya Kovida Niti Shastra Gya Yatha Vedanti Tatha So Vishnu Dutta is described here as Naya Kovida. Kovida means expert and Naya means law, logic, quality. All these meanings, which means those who know what is proper action to be taken under a particular circumstances, such circumstance, that is called Nyaya or Naya. And Vishnu Dutas are called Naya Kovida because they actually know better than the Yam Dutas. So now they speak as follows. Vishnu Dhuta Uchu Aho Kashtam Dharma Drisham Adharma Sprishate Sabham Yatra Adandeshu Apapeshu Dando Yair Dhriyate Vritha so they are saying indeed it is very surprising that irreligion has entered into the assembly of religious people. And what is the outcome of that? That those who are innocent and not worthy to be punished they are being punished. So this is their lamentation after hearing this whole talk of the Yamadutas. Which means that these people they do not know what is Dharma. Although they are calling themselves as servants of Dharma Raj. Are Gyataha Stha Gyata Stha Dharma Raja Seva Kinkraha Yuyam Alam Pralapahi So earlier they had asked who are you and Yamadutas had said that we are servants of Dharma, Dharma Raja. So they are saying yes we know you are servants of Dharma Raja, we know, now stop. Yeah, I understand. You are definitely the servants of Dharma Raj. And stop your nonsense talk. Alam Pralapani. Kintu Dharma Raja Sayev Dharma Rajta Vipreet Lakshana Eva Iti Jani. And now we have understood that Dharma Raj is called Dharma Raj. Not because he is the king of Dharma, but because he is just the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. He is the king of Adam. That's what we understand. Aho iti asmat karnapatham adhyavdi varta yam napatati dibhava. So they are speaking in great surprise, which by which they indicate that till now we never heard anything like this. This such a talk never entered into our ears, which we have told. 
कष्टमित एतावता न्यायन लोका नाम का गतिर भविष्यती विभाव एंड इंडीड इट इज वेरी पेनफुल वेरी पिटेबल दैट इफ दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ धर्म राज यू हैव देन व्हाट विल बी द सिचुएशन ऑफ पीपल ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड वेयर विल दे लैंड अप दे विल हैव टू सफर अननेसेसरी ननु के किम एवं आक्षिप्यंते तत्र किम भूम है सुनुतरे सुनुते क्या सुनाओ इधर से नियम दुताज दैट हु आर पीपल हु आर सेइंग लाइक दिस दैट धर्मराज दिस नॉट नो धर्म धर्म सो दे आर आंसरिंग दैट व्हाट कैन वी से just listen he follows listen dharm drsham dharm darshinam api sabham adharma eva sprishati dharma api adharma meva prashyanti ti bhava he says those who know what is dharma what are the religious principles they have also become influenced by what is adharma and if that is the situation then that is a very dangerous situation because innocent people have to suffer yatra sabhayam apapeshu api janeshu apapatvat adandeshu dando dhriyate itesha eva adharm dharshita iti bhava so why are they saying this he says that in the assembly where those who are not sinful and therefore not punishable they are being punished that is the entrance of adharma or influence of adharma so what can we say so in other words they are not agreeing to yama dutas that ajamil deserves to be punished that's the meaning and then they continue on this it says praja nam pitro ye cha shastara sadhava samaha yadi sapte su vaishamyam kamyanti sharanam praja so he says that the creators of human beings or the parents the rulers and the saintly people if they become biased then to whom people can go and take shelter so if the parents they are treating the children in a biased manner which means that the child is well behaving and they are criticizing and the rulers become biased those who are following all the rules they are being punished and sadhus also and they misguide or mistreat or curse those who are well behaved then what will be the fate of people in general to whom they can go to for their shelter to the other people who are supposed to give protection since so that is actually what is happening now शुणुतरे प्रजा पितृत्व शास्त्रीत्व साधुत्व साम्यम चुस्मत्स्वामी यूयते तत्खलु किं संप्रति अन्वितमेव भूतिथ सो दे आर सेइंग दैट लिसन यू फैलोज इट इज अंडरस्टुड दैट योर मास्टर 
is supposed to be like a father controller like a guide and equanimous to towards all and equal vision but now it appears that this talk is all false and to say this they speak the present words vatsalyat pitarah dharma shikshanat shastarah sarvatra swadukha sukha dhamni samya darshanat samah so he says that parents they are supposed to be equal because their quality is to protect to nourish the children and those who are ruling they give education about dharma and sarvatra sva sukh dukh samya darshanat samah the sadhus are also equal by seeing the happiness and distress of people by comparing to themselves so teshu vashamyam iti if they become biased then what happens pitro api praja pidaka and the parents themselves start harassing their own children शास्तारोपि स्वकिंक्रानपि धर्म न शिक्षयन्ति एंड द रूलर्स दे विल नॉट टीच टू देयर ओन सर्वेंट्स द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ धर्म एंड साधवोपि अहित कारण एंड द साधुज दे विल नॉट डू एनी वेलफेयर समापि पर दुख अनुभव्य कमी आंती एंड दोज हु बिहेव equally towards others if they also behave and equally then they will not know the suffering of others so whose shelter can people take kamyanti ti prajanam kashta darshanam etad asmabhi stu dukha dusahame he says seeing this we are unable to tolerate this situation that ultimately what will happen to people yad yad acharti shreya itras tad tad ihate sayat pramanam kurute lokas tad anvartate and then what will happen that these are the leaders parents are the leaders for the children rulers and saintly people holy people they are the leaders for the whole society so if they don't behave according to their expected behavior then what happens in that everybody has to suffer and everybody takes their example and also becomes like that so this is what is called parampara then children are mistreated by the parents and when they grow up they mis- mistreat their own children the rulers they mistreat people and then people get the chance to become the ruler and it is democracy and they do the same thing they forget that we were troubled and therefore we should not trouble so then the parampara continues it's called the cyclic success so that is what is being spoken in this verse that whatever good behavior or whatever behavior a superior person or a celebrity or a famous person or a person who is well respected in the society whatever behavior he follows then others also desire to be like that so 
these days there are celebrities and they have their fans and the fans follow the celebrity that's why celebrities are used for advertisements only for this reason because people those who <coughs> have products to sell they know that this person has lot of followers and if he does something then others will do so previously this principle was used for making people religious that if the king was religious then the <coughs> subjects will also become religious because they followed the example of the king if the teacher was nice well behaved compassionate then the students also take that character from the teacher so now this principle is used only for selling things that's the use of it that whatever the celebrities do all the fans do that so therefore they make use of this in their advertisements तदेव अचिण धर्म मग अच्छन्न भविष्य उच्छन्न भविष्य दिस इज दिचुएसन देन द पाथ ऑफ धर्म विल बिकम डिस्ट्रॉयड इट विल बी टर्न इन टू पीस वाय बिकॉज वट एवर द बिहेवियर ए सीनियर पर्सन और authority or an honorable person is doing it and others take that as a standard so they say well he did it so we can do it so the guru drinks seven up and the disciple say well we can also drink seven up only once he drank seven up so then it becomes parampara so then they say well we cannot drink Coke or Pepsi, and drink some <laughs> because he drank it once. So this is called praman. This is how the praman becomes. So he says, if Dharmaraj does not know dharma, then how the followers will know? And the followers will actually follow what Dharmaraj says. So you people are actually. Traveling this poor fellow Ajamila for no reason because he is not sinful. So yes, Yanke Shira Adhaya Lokah Swapiti Nirvita Swayam Dharma Adharma Va Nahi Veda Yathapashu. So if someone is sleeping. with faith and confidence by putting his head in a person slap like an animal not knowing what is dharma and adharma then what will happen to him So just like a baby is sleeping in the lap of the mother, so he has no fear because he has confidence that this is my mother, and there is no cause of any fear from the mother. But if the mother is like Putna, then it is very dangerous. So then Putna is feeding milk, and along with that there is also no poison. So if we have faith that Dharmaraj is Dharmaraj, and we are following our dharma, and we are very sure that what I am doing is right because Shastra is saying it, and therefore I will not be punished for this. But if it is then dharmaraj is not known dharma and i believe in him then my situation is the same as putting my hand in the lap of him, which 
Malu. Putu mah. Nana mendeng je. So therefore, if somebody is an authority, then it is the responsibility of that authority to give protection to the subjects. That was whether it was a teacher or husband in the Vedic society or guru or ruler, king. So this post was not because there is somebody below us and we can exploit that person. The Shastra was telling that we have to surrender to these authorities, not because these authorities should make us their slaves and then misuse, exploit. But because they have a responsibility to take care and for that we should surrender to them. But if they misuse that position, then it is a very chaotic situation and very dangerous situation. So that's why he is giving this example that Yasyanke Siradhaya Loka Svapiti Nirvita Swam Dharma Madharma Nahi Vedi Athapar That people put their head or their faith in somebody and if that person is <coughs> turns out to be a traitor, then that is a very problematic situation for one who has put the faith in somebody. So, Kincha Vishwas Ghatadi Ghatadadikam Kama dharmam bruma itva yasya ki bhagya. So he says, what can be more a dharma or sinful or impious than to act according against one's faith? That means, what will be the word for this was ghat? Like not reciprocating according to the faith of person. So that is Viswasanghata. There must be some English word for that. It means break somebody's faith. So, so he says this is most sinful. That somebody has faith in you and then you cheat that person. This is highly sinful. So this is what is being described in this verse and the next verse. Sakatham nirpitatmanam kritamatram machetanam vishnam bhaniyo bhutanam sadhruna dogdhumarhati So he says, how is it possible that one can be cruel to such a person towards somebody who has put faith in you considering you as friend and well-wisher and offered oneself completely so how can one destroy the faith of such a person or cheat so this is very, very sinful. And previously people were very careful about it. And if someone trusts you not to break the trust of that person. Now people do other other way than other way and they act in such a way that you build your trust in some person and then as soon as the trust is built then the real color comes out. So that is hypocrisy. That is not that is an asuric quality, that is demonic quality. So divine quality is to be truthful. 
and also the qualities do not be too true. Na saucham, na pichacharo, na satyam te su vindati. Krishna, when he is describing the demonic asuric qualities, then he says that na pravittim, pravittim chana vittim na vinur na jana asura, that means the asura, they do not know what is pravritti and what is nivritti, what is the action which binds one, what is the action which liberates one. And they are unclean in their habits, they don't have good behavior and they are not truthful. And they think that everything is just happening by itself. Satyamma pratyashtante jagadahura That the world is also false don't have any foundation, there is no Ishvara, no God. Aparasparam sambhutam ki manyat kaam Everything is based on lust. So these are asuric qualities. So, therefore I say that anybody who is compassionate and considered as a Sat Purusha, divine person and therefore is the object of trust of people and whom people consider as friendly and well-wisher and therefore surrender to such a person. So how can such a person cheat others and become traitor? Vishwasena nitram arpita atma yena tam katham vishwasita tiyatra bhutanam vishwasniya sadayas So one who has put faith, how can one actually do such a thing? So this is they are speaking in general. So first they are actually attacking their boss. So already the Yamdutas are feeling like inferior because they are not saying that you don't know or you are wrong. They are actually first saying that your boss himself does not know. Otherwise why should he send you here? And now they explain why. He is wrong. He says, I am he krita nirvesho janva kotti aham samapi yad vyajahara vyusho nama svastya nam harihe. So he says, this fellow has done prashchitta or atonement for sins which he may have performed in millions of lives. Say, say, but we never saw him doing any. He, do you think he looks like a person who will do atonement? So he says, yes, he has done it the very moment he took the name of Lord Hari, who is the seat of all auspiciousness, although in a helpless situation. So we will show Swasti Enam Hari that in a helpless, because he was full of fear. So it's not that he sat down to chant the name of Lord, that let me do some remembrance or kirtan or anything, but vivasha. In a helpless situation, he had the Vyajahara. He repeated or <coughs> uttered the name of Lord Hari. So he says, that is the prashtita he has done for all the sins. Naru, nanu paraha sahasra maha paap akritam akritam prashtita majamilam sodhetum eva narkam ninishu bhir asma bhir asmat swami bhirva kima pradham ya devam akshipayet so after hearing this Hindutas are saying that why are you being so critical 
of us and also of our master. What actually have we done wrong? This person has done thousands and thousands of sinful activities, stealing, plundering, telling lies, giving up his dharma as a brahmana, abandoning his wife whom he married and took a vow now to give her up, disregarding the old parents. So, so many things he has performed which are against the injunction of the Vedas. So how do you say that he is not fit to be punished? So he is a Mahapataka, he is highly sinful, not normal. And then after doing this he has not performed any atonement, Akrita Payasvitta. And therefore only to purify him, we are taking him to heaven, hell. So what is wrong? And why are you criticizing us? And you know, now you are only also criticizing our master. So then they are saying, I am he, Nishitam even. He, the word he means definitely, and there is no doubt about it, that he has performed Rashitra. Because sometimes certain activity may be applicable, not applicable. Maybe he has done, maybe he has not done. You take a medicine, maybe it will cure your disease, maybe it will not cure. You are never 100% sure. So he says, we are very sure that he has taken a tablet which has purified him of all bacteria called Papa's and he is completely purged, like you take Ichcha Bhedi, <coughs> two tablets, system clean. So he is completely clean. So that is the meaning of he. Krita Prashchitta And not only of this life, Kevalam Eka Janma Krita Papa Namati Natu Tu Janma Koti. So not only the sins which he has performed in this particular life, but many, many births. He cannot even count. Yasmad, and when did he do that? Vivaswapi Hare Nam Raja Harinat. He called the name of Lord Hari Narayana, even in a helpless situation. Even that is that. So now he is there. He is quoting some statements for this. Is there any proof for this? Is Namno hi yavati shakti paap nirharne hare tavat kartum na shaknoti patakam patakina. So he says that the power which exists in the name to dispel sins is so much that a sinner cannot commit sins enough. So he says that just taking the name of Lord Hari is so powerful that there are, there are no sins which cannot be cleaned by it. And there is no sinner who can say that I will do sins which will not be purified by it. So that is one statement. And then another one he says, Avashe Napi and Namni Kirtite Sarvapatakaihi Puman Vimuchati Sadhya Singhatrastai Nivai Vivaha. So he says that even if one chants the name of the Lord in a helpless situation, then the person becomes free from all the Patakas, all the sins. So he said just as Singha Trastair Mirgairiva, just like the deers run away out of fear of a lion, there may be 10,000 deer in a place, if one lion comes and roars, all these guys will run away. 
ನಾಲ್ಕೊಂದು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಈ ಒಂದು ಲೋಜ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಹೀರೋ ಅಮಂಗ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಬಾಯ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ರಾಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ರ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಸೈಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಲೈ ಅವೇ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ನ ಕೇವಲ ಪ್ರಾಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಮಾತ್ರ ಹರೇರ್ ನಾಮ ಪೀತು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿಯನ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಸಾಧನ ಮತ್ತು ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹರಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೇಸಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಒಂದು ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬೈ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅನಫ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೇಸಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಪ್ರ ಪ್ರಾಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ದಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನೋ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಿನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಬರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಹೌ ಬಿಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಬರ್ನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೂಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಂಡೋ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಹೌ ಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ನೆಸ್ ದ ರೂಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟೂ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ರಿಮೂವ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಹೌ ಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ರೂಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ so like that it does not matter how many sins a person has performed for how long how many lifetimes one name of lord hari is enough to remove all that even to tamaji so that is the meaning of <coughs> so therefore it says sakritu charitam yena ಹರಿರಿತ್ಯಕ್ಷರದ್ವಯಂ ಬದ್ಧ ಪರಿಕರಸ್ತೇನ ಮೋಕ್ಷಾಯಗಮನ ಪ್ರತಿ ಸೇಜ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಚಾಂಟೆಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹರಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟೈಟನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬೆಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ it's like when you have to run a race so you put on your dress tie your shoelaces your dress and you start running so like that just by chanting the name of hari once these two letters ha and ri then one is preparing to go towards moksha So this is the commentary on these verses. So then there's, these verses are going to speak more about the power of name and, and the verse number 9 and 10, there is a very long commentary by this much about it. Actually, it runs into a few pages where he will analyze this whole chanting. And why is it that this sound can repel the sins and make one free from all the 
purpose. I'm seeing from such mission. Because in the poor Mimansa, this is not to be, they cannot believe it. Because in poor Mimansa, they say that you have to perform a specific prashtita, which is prescribed in the Shastra. That for this sin, you have to perform this atonement for this sin. Then only you become free. So he says, nowhere it is mentioned such injunction. And therefore, they say that these types of statements can be just athavada, just some praise. So, from Purmi Mansaka point of view, it is very difficult to believe that name can have such power. So, therefore, it has to be explained that how does it work. Because if something is not an injunction, then it is not a primary statement. The primary statements of the Vedas, according to Purmi Mansaka, are injunctions, which are imploring or ordering one to do something. And if it is only saying that if you chant the name of Hari even once, you are qualified to be liberated, there is no injunction in, in it. The sloka is not saying you should chant. So because there is no injunction, therefore this is not the primary statement, and therefore this must be a secondary statement, which means it must be attached to some primary statement of injunction, which may be to some yagya or something. So that's what they think of these statements. So we also have a story in Chaitanya Charitamrita, somebody was, who was this? Chapal Gopal, what was the name, whose nose fell down because he was arguing with Haridas Thakur. You know that story? That means you have forgotten Chaitan Chaitamrita. Nose fell down. Yeah. Because he was telling Haridas Thakur, why are you saying this whole name had this power and this and <coughs> if this is not true, your nose should fall off, but his own nose fell off. Yeah, it's leprosy. Mm. Mm. His name was, I think, Chapal Gopal. Yeah. I'm not wrong. <coughs> so, we'll stop here. Primary names and there are secondary names. What quality of the primary name? So primary names are like Krishna, Govinda, Hari. But what quality? The Namabhas or? No, he, Adamil was doing Namabhas. Yes. So Namabhas. Yes. Another question is, is that <clears throat> some time back I happened to read an article where it was describing how in a country in Europe, I think it was Sweden, many years back, um, the country really needed to develop its agricultural system and they had a socialist party in power, right? And so the, um, according to the principles of philosophy current at that time, they um, legally forced many children to be sent out to different farms to act as a labor. Right? They were not given any education right? and uh, um, 
they would just work on the farm all day long without any pay and uh, some food, and that's all in very bare living conditions. And now the country is facing the problem that these children have grown up, they're uneducated, and they're angry and disturbed because they were young children taken away from their parents by force and sent out to other places, farms, for working just as you know, engage a horse or something. So they're, they're psychologically, you know, affected by that. So that really, you know, that really got to me. I, I, was, I was thinking of it, about that for a number of days and that what I understood from that is that if you have an ideology, right, the thing is to, and you believe you're right in your ideology, then the thing is that you would you feel right in imposing that onto others. And even when it means harming people. And I thought about it more and I saw, yeah, all political parties, they've got their ideology and they, they're doing that. And, um, and also I thought about it more and I was thinking, yeah, well, even in religion, they're doing that. They've got their ideology of what's right, what's, who God is, etc. And so whoever they can get into their, their fold, they're imposing that standard on them and saying you're good or you're bad, you're right or you're wrong, you're with us or you're out, according to that basis. So, so what is the question? So, you know, it's like now, you just mentioned towards the end of the class that those following the Pulamansa, they could not understand <coughs> the potency of the holy name because they, in their philosophical system, they had injunctions. Right? So again, it's an impo imposition of something. So can you get out of this imposing within the material realm? Only in Raganuga Pardon? Only in Raganuga Bhakti. Yeah. Only in, there is there is no imposition in that. Right, because and even in Bhakti Bhakti it's um, there. Otherwise there is always some imposition. Right. Society, there is always somebody who is ruling. And people are not just living independently without any system or organization. So, whether it is a state or it is some royal person or whoever, whatever is their belief, they will impose it on people. Yes. That's, that's how it happens. even somebody who they're not in power, they're just another citizen even though they can't impose anything on others officially if they see behavior that they don't agree with then they can within their social context they can create bad feelings and that, mm, that is the human nature yes, it's human nature yeah. so human nature has it is called difference anxiety. Pardon? Difference anxiety. That if you see somebody different from you, huh. you become anxious. anxious. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what this person will do. If somebody is like you, then it is predictable. Mm -hmm. That because this person is following such and such, system or belief or rules and he, he, will not, he or she will behave in this particular way. Mm -hmm. If somebody is different from you then you don't know what this guy will do. Mm -hmm. So you become full of anxiety or fear mm -hmm. and therefore to remove that there are two ways. 
until you remove the person or you change the person. This is what goes on in the society. So that's how so much uh, oppression is done or so much crime is done or because of this problem. So one has to rise above that. So if you have power, then you try to convert others by force or by somehow trying to convince or cajole or enticing and luring different techniques and if you don't have power then you do as you said in a subjective way keeping low profile but always thinking how can I influence this person to become like me Vishnu does they're not they're not saying that that they're that the uh Yamadutta's concept of Dharma is wrong. So <coughs> they're, they're not saying that. There's what they're saying is something else that there's a different way. Is that Yeah, they're saying that their un his understanding is not complete. I'm sorry, their understanding is incomplete. Yeah. Um, and so in, especially in this particular respect, right. it's not that he's completely wrong, but there is something missing in, in his understanding and that's what they are trying to explain now. Exactly. Okay. What was the point in criticizing Dharmaraj? What was the purpose behind that? So that Vishnu Dutas they get a shock and become attentive to listen what they have to say and not argue unnecessarily. Because they are servant of Yam Dutta, so they think we know. And who are these people? But now when he says that your boss himself does not know. So they just cow down and then listen. Because they have never heard this. Just like the young Vishnu Dutta said, we have never heard this what you are saying. Young Dutta also saying, we never heard this what you are saying. So this is an, because both are living in their own world. Young Vishnu Dutta had nothing to do with poor Mimansa and young Dutta also had nothing to do with so now they are meeting and each is looking strange to the other. But they are listening and they are willing to understand. Any amount of scenes and activities done by under the influence of the Buddha, basically they can put their nature vision, they can do basically nothing in terms of transformation, transformation, anything. It's like, I just said, like fire. So I'll stop here. So it looks like that in this TV anybody can come in the chat room. Anywhere. In the Ustream, I never got. Only if they are, uh, if they are signed up.